Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'll be talking about the CSS3 background clip property. Let's straight away start off with the browser preview. Basically when I say background clip it defines the painting area. Now this is a div people. It has um, you know a, a darkish yellowish painted area basically the background color right with a dashed border and you see this is the normal state this is the hover state and when I click somewhere in the center this is the active state so basically there are three different states which actually show or depict mm, three different uh, states for or three different values for background clip border box which is also the default the padding box and the content box so what I've done is the default value uh, which is the border box has been attached to the normal uh, div okay in the hover state it gathers a value of padding box changes from uh, the default border box to padding box and then in the active state basically when you click on the div it goes into the active state it uh, grabs the value content box so basically uh, the background clip property changes uh, its value on a hover and in the active state so that's exactly what is happening uh, that's why you see the painted area basically the painted area of the background color change on a hover and in the active state when there is a click so uh, I think things will become absolutely clear once I do the whole project from the very beginning you'll uh, understand things a lot better <coughs> so let's do that let me just select the whole code control A to select the whole code delete to scrap the entire code people and let me start coding people I'm using uh, Zen Coding is a code assist plugin. It's basically a plugin for Dreamweaver that's available off the internet absolutely free. You can just Google it up. And uh, once you install it, it'll be available inside Dreamweaver. And then you'll be allowed to code as fast as I can. Let's see how fast I can actually code. So, HT. I'm sorry. Should be clicking on the left hand side uh, code area HTML colon 5 and then press control plus comma. Basically, I'm telling Dreamweaver that I wish to continue in the HTML5 doc type, the latest doc type people. Then get inside the body of the document and I'm going to type hash box press control plus comma. People, I'm taking um, the best advantage of Zen Coding, it's a code assist plugin. If you don't have that plugin, don't worry, you can just code out the normal way. People, uh, for convenience sake, I'm just skipping the title. You can, uh, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, uh, ideally. Okay, so inside the opening and the closing body tags, I have an opening and a closing uh, div tag. This div ha has an ID of box. Again, this ID could be anything else too. It's just something uh, that I decided. Okay, make sure that you click on uh, box and then click on this plus button to uh, create a new CSS rule. It's going to be an ID rule. ID is going to be selected automatically and uh, it's getting saved inside this document only. Ideally, it should be an external style sheet where you should save your CSS, but for this small example, it's okay to keep it inside this document only, basically creating an internal or an embedded rule. I'm going to say okay, people. <coughs> I'm going to start defining my box or my div or my division. Let me straight away head to the box category first. Let's say a width of 40 px, a height of 40 px, and then a padding of 20 px all around people. Padding will get added to the width <coughs> on both the sides, on all the four sides rather. Okay, the padding and the borders get added to the width and the height outside, not inside people. That is the default behavior. And uh, next up, people, I'll go to the background. I'm going to sh make sure that the background is actually dashed all around and has a width of 20 px all around I'm gonna skip the color then it'll default to actually black at the same time I'll go to the background and as far as the background color is concerned people let me go with this darkish color uh, a hash FC3 and let's say okay and let's see the result this is the uh, resulting div people okay let me just uh, save the document up and let's refresh the browser okay in fact let me make it slightly bigger let me get back to the same rule and make this 100 okay so you can actually see things a lot better at the same time let me go to modify page properties I'm gonna add some left margin to the you know to the body and top margin to the body too. basically create a cushion 
this is the you know the rule that's attached to the body I'm gonna cut it from here I'm gonna push it right to the top that's how it should ideally be okay at this point I'm gonna press F12 take up a browser preview okay so nothing much has changed except the div is, is slightly bigger uh, and has a cushion on the left and the top basically top margin to the body and left margin to the body of 100 px so uh, you know things are easily seen by you a padding of 20 px basically padding adds uh, you know a cushion inside and we have a border a black border of 20 px okay this is the way things stand at the moment people <coughs> let's start using the background clip property basically defines the uh, the area the painting uh, you know the area which is going to be painted with the background color the default behavior people as you can very clearly see out here is uh, border box basically gets inside the border you know and that is also the default behavior and if I press F12 at this point bring up the browser you see nothing has actually changed because this is also the default okay now I'm gonna make certain changes out here uh, let me copy this rule box rule okay and let me create a new rule so paste it out here but this time I'm gonna affect the hover state and I'm gonna say background clip but padding box <coughs> sorry all right uh, let's put a seven colon out here right off and then let's have a third state which is the active state in the active state people I'm going to change the padding box to content okay so we, we have three states uh, this should be active active means on a click when you keep the uh, you know the left mouse button clicked and keep it that way for some time that's the active state all right let's press F12 at this point and let's take up a browser preview to be absolutely sure that what background clip actually means basically the painted area the background uh, you know the area where the background color is gonna fill in so by default it you know gets inside the border as is clearly evident when you actually uh, see this uh, image if I hover it actually gets inside the padding area and it leaves the padding area goes into the content area or when it's actually active so people I hope that I've uh, clearly driven the point uh, hit the nail on the head and you actually very clearly understood uh, how the background clip property actually operates it's very interesting people if I take up a, a browser preview in Firefox let's see see the way you know the uh, the border actually appears out here quite differently from the way the border actually ap uh, appeared in Chrome <laughs> and see the preview pane see uh, what actually how the border actually appears in the preview area so people for a newcomer a uh, big lesson is never rely on the preview pane inside Dreamweaver itself get into different browsers and check out for yourself uh, because you know different browsers uh, op you know have their own different mindset so uh, check it out. So people, I hope uh, you uh, found this information useful. You have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace.